Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, BSF Canada, and Syngenta Canada. Bernard Tobin on the Soybean School down in Mount Bridges, Ontario today, catching up with Dale Cowan from Agris Cooperative. Dale, how you doing? I think you're doing a little better than that plant in your hand. Well, I am, Bernard. One thing about me, I can come in out of the hail. Plants can't. So, uh, boy, hail is a, uh, first off, a pretty emotional thing to witness because all it takes is 15 seconds of hail to take a good crop and make it something you don't want to see. Dale, now, here at Mount Bridges, you had hail come through here last week. Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's very rare rare that it comes through. We had some supercells come through and uh, lots of thunderstorm activity, and then the hail showed up. And it's unusual that it hits all three crops, yeah. corn, soybeans, and, and wheat. So that, that's pretty rare that we get all three yeah. crops hit at the same time. And we're going to have all three crops here on the soybean school. Let's start with soybeans. Yeah. Um, what's happening with this crop now? You know, what's the injury look like? What's the potential? Yeah, so this crop was roughly in, uh, I'd say, uh, V4, V5, which is five trifoliate leaves. So it was coming along quite nicely. And then the hail hit it. And so we're looking at a lot of stem breakage, a lot of shredded leaves. And it looks really bad. And farmers are wondering, well, how are these plants going to die? What's going to happen? And, and these plants are actually quite resilient. They will yep. recover. It'll be a bit delayed. But uh, a broken stem doesn't mean the end of the world. It just means that the node below it will now start a new, a new stem and possibly more flowers or, or another branch uh, to replace the lost leaves. So before we go on to corn, when you're looking at this field now, it can recover. Um, what type of yield loss might or any impact? I don't know at this point. We may not see a whole lot of impact. It's going to change the stature of the crop. So it's right. going to be more bushy, maybe not as tall, which might be a good thing yep. to rent lodging. Uh, it's going to be set back a little bit. I don't see a lot of stem bruising here, so I don't think we've lost any plants. It just looks worse than it really is. But uh, I, I think that if we have a good August with some timely rains mm -hmm. and no more yeah. nonsense from Mother Nature, that we could recover here and have somewhat of an average crop. Mm. Let's take a look at the neighboring cornfield here. We just walked through through there. A lot of shredded leaves here, a lot of leaves damage. What type of impact are we looking at here? Yeah, boy, that's a function of how much uh, leaf loss is or how much leaf damage. In some of those fields, we got a 50% leaf loss. Uh, so that could be as high as a 25% yield hit. Uh, some of the leaf loss at the, at the other end of the field where the hail wasn't as bad, we may not see any. So this is the nature of hail. It doesn't mm. always get applied uniformly. But it's, again, it's really hard to, to notice that. Uh, it came at, if it was going to come at all, it came at the right stage. The tassels weren't out. If we had tassel breakage, we could have been upwards of 50% potential yield loss. So right now, it's a wait and see game. Um, fields with good yield potential will still yield quite well. I've been in fields that have been heavily hailed before, and they've run over 200 bushel. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what that's going to end up at. Not something you want to see, but it has an impact on mm -hmm. yield. And I think at this point, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. One thing is interesting here, there is no leaves on the ground. We've just walked through here, so we get shredded corn, but we're not getting leaf tear and drop. Yeah, so anything that's stuff on the plant, it's tattered, but it's still attached. It's still green, which means it's photosynthesizing, hasn't turned brown and fallen off. So that's a good side. Mm -hmm. Just that the leaf area is a little less because it's shredded, is more whole. So if anything, the yield loss probably going to fact that sunshine's hitting the ground, not hitting green leaves. So that might be, and that's going to lead potentially to some stock rot issues in the fall when that ear's trying to, to fill grain. It's going to pull sugar from wherever it can, and that's going to weaken the stock. So it just might change our management focus at harvest time during grain fill just a little bit. All right. Hey, last thing to talk about here, wheat. We just walked through a wheat field here right across the road here. Um, what's this look like? Um, you know, pretty late in the season here. We've got some grain on the ground, but uh, it's pretty late in the season. Well, there's nothing you can be do about it. It's, it's, it's again, it's, it's not something you want to see. Grain on the ground, we've estimated anywhere from 10 to, to 20 bushel. The field's still running 90-ish, so mm -hmm. yeah, it could have been a 100 bushel wheat field, which has been pretty phenomenal. So it's, again, it's just one of those unfortunate circumstances. Uh, we were probably four days away from the grain being fit to harvest. Yep. And so there was enough mature grain to get knocked out uh, of the heads with that hail that came through. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, tough to look at and not much you can do about it. But again, we've had a good grain fill period, the wheat, was looking pretty good, so we just have just a little less yield. Yeah. And, uh, and it is about timing, end of the season for the wheat, obviously, um, in season for corn and soybeans, sir. Hey, um, thanks for taking the time for this conversation, a conversation we don't like to have too often, but well, uh, certainly I had some, uh, some insights for growers. Certainly, uh, uh, lots of farmers are concerned and, and wanting, wanting some answers, want someone to come in and say, what's going on in my field? So uh, that's what the industry's there for. Yeah, you said it. We'll see you later in the season. Thanks. Very good.